Hello and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be reading for our earth signs and we're taking a look at love energies. How does your person feel about you? Okay, so if you're a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn or if you're dealing with one, then this is going to be your video. For today okay um i am going to time stamp all of these as well okay so we've got three signs and we're each getting 15 minutes a sign it's all time stamped so you can check out time stamps in the description box below so we are going to begin the reading with taurus so i just need to make sure that that's all set up for you there you go okay so taurus how does your person feel about you What's going on for Taurus Collective in Love, please, for December? Taurus, okay, okay, confession. Someone has to tell you something. Okay, so Taurus, you're going to be receiving a confession from someone, okay? They've probably been keeping their feelings a secret. So you've got like a, a secret admirer, moving, a change of residence or moving in with your partner. Um, maybe someone wants to move in with you or maybe you've recently moved. OK, maybe you're not even looking at love. <laughs> Guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. It's beautiful. So, yeah, Todd is you're being protected at this point in time. OK, you've got a passed over loved one who watches over you. I don't really tend to go too, too deep into that kind of energy or message okay because um i'm not a medium okay I, I don't perform seances or anything but you would have felt the presence of this loved one watching over you it's also indicating that your relationship or your connection is being protected at this time at the bottom of the deck is manifest tell the universe exactly what you want so be clear okay taurus be clear about what it is that you're um wanting in love and that's how you're going to manifest what you need out of a connection or a relationship okay right so with that being said we are going to pull your tarot and find out what's going on for your romantic partner okay what's going on for taurus please what's going on for taurus collective how does the relationship or currently stand between taurus and their person how does Taurus's person feel about Taurus right now? What are the challenges, please, between Taurus and their person? And what action will Taurus's person take towards Taurus? And what advice do you have, please, for our Taurus collective in love? Okay, how the relationship or the connection currently stands right now, you have got the Emperor. So somebody wants to or needs to take charge of the situation, okay? Um, I'm getting the message of domination, which is a funny one, Taurus. Um, that feels a little bit kinky to me <laughs> okay i'm not gonna lie it, it's a little bit um yeah how do they feel about you right now the six of swords okay what are their challenges the two of wands what are your challenges the high priestess what action will they take towards you the lovers and what's your advice justice okay so you could be dealing with an aries a libra a pisces a Gemini or an Aquarius you could be but you don't have to be at the bottom of the deck is the five of wands um okay there's quite a bit of conflict that's going on here um I'm seeing with this particular connection Taurus that you're both wanting control you're both wanting control okay you're both very um don't take this the wrong way, but you're both very sort of domineering characters, okay? Uh, so it's like you, you both want to take charge of the situation. So what's needing to happen here is um, equality, okay? Like literally, equality is coming out in your advice column with justice being there. So one person being in charge at one point in time and then flip it, okay? So 
each partner's at some point a needing to be in charge, right? But obviously you both can't be in charge at the exact same time because that leads to the five of wands energy. That leads to that clash, all right? It leads to that power struggle. So there needs to be definitely more give and take on both sides of the table here, okay? So Taurus, it does feel like you're dealing with someone who is just as stubborn as you are, okay? That's not necessarily a bad thing, not at all, but there definitely does need to be some kind of leeway, right? Your person feels that you could be moving away from them. I mean, if you have recently moved home, moved location, then yeah, that would stand to reason why the Six of Swords would be there. Um, but your person feels in a lot of ways that you could potentially be running as well, okay? I, I do get the impression of running with this one. Um, now, that might not be true, Taurus, okay? You, you might not be running, but in their opinion, you ran. You ran either from them or from the connection, okay? They definitely feel you disconnect in here from them quite a bit. And so what we see is them trying to bridge the gap between you. Okay. Their challenges is the two of ones. So yeah, their challenges, I mean, they could be challenged by making decisions, but I'm feeling more so with this one. They're ch feeling challenged by that physical distance between you. Okay. So, as I said, they are going to take steps to try and bridge that gap between you. Your challenge is the High Priestess, all right? So, you're challenged by following your own intuition. You could be feeling challenged by, uh, maybe by their spiritual beliefs. Say, if you have both got different religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs, something like that, you could be challenged by that, okay? Um... I'm also seeing with this high priestess is you could be challenged by the fact that maybe they're a very quiet individual. Maybe they don't like to speak very often. They certainly don't like to indulge in what problems they're having, you know. So you could be challenged by the silence of that. Um, maybe feeling that perhaps they keep secrets from you. Something to do with that. The action that they're going to take towards you is the lovers. So I do feel, Taurus, that this person is going to do everything that they can to basically keep you in their lives, okay, with the lovers. It can be a choice. It can be a union. I'm feeling union strongly with this one. So I do feel, Taurus, that this person is going to be proactive towards you and proactive towards the, the connection, okay? If they're needing to physically move, to come and be with you, Taurus, then I'm strongly seeing that that's exactly what they're going to do, okay? Um, this individual, they do like to take their time as well when they're making decisions. And again, it's like they do all of this internally, which for you, you're a very uh, tactile individual and you're very intellectual individual. So when someone shares with you their their fears, their concerns, that makes you automatically feel a lot closer to that person. Okay, so this this individual they they are similar to you in a lot of ways, but they're different to you in the way that. They prefer to keep a lot of things to themselves, okay? And then that oftentimes gets misread by yourself. And also, this individual, they're not big on, like, PDAs, okay? Which, again, that could be a problem for you, Taurus, because you are a very tactile individual. That touch, that sensuality, that intimacy, all of these things are really, really important to you. And so what we see in this energy is someone who clearly loves you very, very much, but you just both have very different love languages from each other, okay? Um, and yeah, your advice, justice. That's fairness, equality. It's balancing things out. It's putting, it's putting the wrongs right, okay? Um, and it does feel to me as well that there is still a very strong connection here between yourself and this individual, okay? Um, th there is still more of your story that is yet to play out, okay? With, with justice being here.
With this being advice, it's indicating that if, if something can be put right here in this situation, then it will be put right in this situation, okay? Um, it's also about being open and receptive as well. You see with that purple behind her? That's open and receptive. Uh, it reminds me very much of the crown chakra, okay? A lot of cosmic energies, enlightenment, understanding. It's understanding that, that there are two individuals within this connection, and so both sides are needing to be uh, taken into consideration, okay? So it's like your wishes and, and your hopes, they need to be taken into consideration, and then equally their wishes and their hopes they need to be taken into consideration, and then it's like together you can come up with some kind of um, balanced compromise on how both of you are going to be happy, okay? What else? Oh, oh, that's loads. Okay, the Grim Reaper, Blash in the Past, Cheers, Glam It Up, Cupid's Arrow, and Addiction. Interesting. Um, so with the Grim Reaper and the Blast from the Past, I mean, the combination of these two, it does indicate to me that this relationship, this connection is very much sort of on again, off again. Do you know what I mean? Um, it, it's like breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together. It does indicate that the next time you two get back together, it looks like that's going to be it then. Okay. It really, really does. And for those of you where that does not resonate for you specifically, then you could be glamming it up and, you know, meeting someone new instead of pursuing this particular connection so you definitely are going to have a choice to make here in love Taurus certainly looks like it's going to be um do you make it work with the person that, that you're already familiar with here in your tarot or do you try something new with someone new okay it also looks like someone is wanting to take you out to like a fancy restaurant and really you know have you glam it up so that they can show you off type thing. You got Cupid's arrow and then addiction. So somebody was trying to control the situation a bit too, too much. And maybe that's why you disconnected from this person, Taurus. Maybe you didn't appreciate having someone um, trying to dominate you. Okay. Um, maybe that's not your thing. But we do see with Cupid's arrow and addiction that any, I mean, addiction, that could be anything, right? That could be someone addicted to you, someone obsessed with you. It certainly does feel that way with it coming out with Cupid's arrow, okay, which is literally all about love, being in love. Um, I would say with this combination that it's going to be really, really difficult for both of you to disconnect from each other, to be completely honest, okay? It feels a lot like one of the types of connections where no matter how hard you try <laughs> to, to separate from each other, you always end up bouncing back to each other. Do you know what I mean? It feels very much like one of those type of connections. What else, please, for our Taurus Collective in love? Okay. If all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, then you won't value and appreciate the small ones. So someone's needing to value and appreciate even the small wins, okay? And then that's going to make them feel more um, grateful for the bigger wins. Be careful of who and what you surround yourself with. So there could be some kind of trust issues here that's going on. Life will be a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride and stop trying to be in control. Yeah, someone definitely needs to stop being in control of this thing all of the time, okay? And they need to surrender control to the other person every so often. Because remember, a relationship, it's supposed to be two individuals who are working towards the same goal in life but they're not trying to overpower each other, okay? They're working together, not against each other, okay? The sacrifices that you make today will be worth it. Interesting. And to rise, you must let go of fear. 
Okay, so if there are any fears that you have that are keeping you stuck, maybe in a situation that you know isn't healthy for you, then it's time to surrender that and release it. Okay, um, there could be someone could be afraid of being single or someone could be afraid of completely allowing themselves to just absolutely fall in love. Okay, just, again, just take it as it resonates. Someone is needing to release their fears here in this situation. Okay, so that was your reading there, Taurus. If that resonated for you, can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video? That'll help keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push the message out to other Tyrians who are needing to hear the message as well. Okay, thank you very much for joining me today, Taurus, for your love reading, and I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, so I'm just sorting this out ready for our very Virgo Collective. Okay, hi Virgo. Welcome to your love reading for December, mid-December. Right, so what is going on for you guys in love? What does Virgo need to know, please? Virgo in love. Oh, okay. Caution. Find out more information and don't overwork yourself. Okay, so this is interesting energy for you, Virgo. It heavily implies that someone is being really dodgy around you okay so they're being deceptive and you're definitely needing to ask more questions and find out more information okay air sign you could be dealing with an air sign a gemini a libra or an aquarius some of you have got an air sign who is coming back to you okay expect to hear from them soon and honeymoon honeymoon phase attending someone's wedding um this feels like an air sign could be coming back to you here, Virgo, with the intent to basically try and relive the honeymoon phase of the relationship or of the, the connection. And Spirit's telling for you to be cautious of this, okay? Because there, there is something that feels quite unrealistic about this particular situation. Um, this could have been a situation with a person where you felt like you constantly had to try and pull the connection back to its honeymoon stage. You know, maybe this is someone who is picking you up, dropping you, picking you up, dropping you. OK, um, and then you work in double hard where it says don't overwork yourself. You work in double hard to try and get the relationship back to how it used to be. But then it, it would never get back to that stage okay because i mean everyone knows like once the honeymoon phase of a connection or relationship is gone like it is done okay and it does take work to um refresh the love within a connection but you'll never actually get it back to the honeymoon stages of a connection like naturally relationships and connections need to graduate away from that anyway okay um but it feels like there's a lot of trickery that, that was going on here okay virgo and to be honest it makes me feel quite uncomfortable because it, it's almost like this person was dangling a carrot in front of you and then they they, they would take it away again you know they kept moving the goalposts on you basically so and that's why Spirit's saying, look, be cautious of this air sign if you are dealing with an air sign. Or they could have that in their Venus placement as well if it's not if it's not in their sun sign. But be cautious of this air sign, okay? Um, that they, they are coming back and you're needing to really make sure you know what it is that you want from this particular connection, preferably before they come back, okay? Yeah, you got manifest at the bottom of the deck as well. Um, Taurus just had this one, okay? So you you are more than capable of manifesting what it is that, that you want, what it is that you need. Some of you might have um, manifested this X to come back in, all right, and that manifestation has gone well. However, you're needing to be cautious of what it is that, that you're wanting, okay? Right, what's going on for Virgo in love, please? How does the relationship or the connection currently stand for Virgo in love? How does Virgo's person feel about Virgo? What are their challenges? What action will they take? And what's your advice here, please? For our Virgo collective in love. Virgo. Oh, okay, okay, right. So 
how the uh, blah, 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 how the relationship or the connection currently stands, Ace of Wands, how they feel about you right now is the Nine of Wands. What are their challenges? The Six of Cups. What are your challenges? The Empress. Uh, what action will they take towards you is the Four of Wands, and your advice, Virgo, is the Knights of Cups. At the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. Yeah. Okay, so Three of Wands is about rapid growth, expansion. Um, it's expanding on your horizons as well, okay? I don't want to say keep your options open here, Virgo, but it kind of feels a little bit like that. It basically means, look, don't tie yourself down to anything right now, Virgo, okay? Because the energy around you is incredibly um, changeable, okay? So... so you're being called to be adaptable and be prepared to um, to move freely, okay? See with that surfboard. It's also like riding the high waves. You know how life has got these highs and then these dips? It's riding the waves, okay? Riding the waves. Um, right, how the relationship or the connection currently stands, the Ace of Wands. So, I mean, there's certainly a lot of passion here with this being the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, there, there could also be an opportunity for new energy to come into this particular connection. Could be with them coming back as well. If you've been expecting someone to come back, they are coming back to you very sort of passionate, very flirty. Um, I'm hearing on fire, so be mindful of any kind of STDs that this person might have. Okay, Virgo, I know it sounds really, really odd, but I'm hearing that someone's crotch is on fire. Now, I don't know whether to take that as because they're, they're hot for you or if because they, they have an STD or an STI. Like, I mean, that kind of thing. You can read that either way, can't you? So, again, you have to use your discernment, okay? Be really, really cautious. If you suspect anything like that, then obviously take the na take certain precautions, okay? If you know this person has been with other people, definitely take precautions, right? Um, and I guess the same message still stands for, for someone who's feeling really sexual towards you as well, okay? Still, like, take precautions. Um, how they feel about you right now, Nine of Wands... So that there's definitely determination with this Nine of Wands, okay? It's all about not giving up, not quitting. Um, you might need to work on your boundaries when it comes down to this person, Virgo. Okay? And also see how that wand is literally on fire as well. Uh, yeah. I get the impression that this individual has been watching you also you know, kind of eyeing you up and down in a in a sexual manner, definitely. What are their challenges? The Six of Cups. So they're challenged by either an issue from their past or another person from their past that maybe they keep triangulating you between someone else from their past, okay? They are challenged by memories, what are you challenged by? The Empress energy. You could be challenged by um, a feminine, another feminine, or your own femininity. You could be challenged by your own um, need or ability to create, okay? Because the Empress is a very creative energy. It doesn't matter if you identify as being feminine, masculine, gender fluid, whatever, okay? It makes no difference. It's not about the gender, it's about the, the energy, okay? Um, you could be challenged by trying to create really good situations for yourself in your life. I am feeling strongly that the person that's in your energy is dealing with an ex that they might well have had a family with, okay? And you could be challenged by that. All right, so again, take it how it resonates. The action that they'll take towards you is the Four of Wands. So in this deck, it's very fun-loving, it's very free. Um, 
could be something to do with a festival here. They could be inviting you out to a festival or some kind of Christmas party, something like that. Um, I do feel that this individual is trying to take you away or trying to whisk you away. Okay. With that being the four of wands, that's some kind of um, milestone. I'm getting milestone with that four of wands. Okay. Um, so they're wanting to reach a certain milestone with you. And your advice is the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. So that's a romantic offering. Um, I mean, that could be advising to extend a romantic offering. Maybe if this person already has a child elsewhere, that could be making you feel a little bit insecure. Okay, it could be. So, you know, make peace with that. Um, that, that is something that can certainly be worked out. But your Knight of Cups, I feel, with this one being your advice, Virgo, is to accept uh, or, or be receptive of someone's love towards you does not necessarily need to be the person who showed up in your tower read, okay? Listen, if you're not interested in the person that I've described in your tower read, then honestly, you do not have to go off with them, okay? This feels very much like you're quite possibly trying to um, get away from this possible air sign, trying to move on with someone else, either a fire sign or a water sign, but then this air sign's kind of always hanging around in the background. Do you know what I mean? That's what it feels a bit like to me. Um, so your advice, Virgo, is you don't have to accept a love offering just from anyone who gives gives it to you. But really sit with your own feelings and figure out for yourself as to whether or not you should be accepting of certain offers. OK, um, definitely. Yes, be be more receptive, but be cautious of who it is you're being receptive to type thing. All right. Especially for those who are struggling with their own femininity here or struggling to be successful or feeling challenged by maybe wanting a family you know maybe some someone here could be feeling that the um that nature's clock is ticking type thing okay so someone could be feeling challenged by that and spirit saying well that doesn't mean that you have to go back to someone who you know isn't good for you okay like, because that would be coming from a place of desperation, really. And you, you don't have to do that at all, okay? Right, what else for Virgo, please? What else for Virgo in love? Okay. Gratuity. Ooh, the siren. And the document. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm still getting that triangulation energy. Someone could be telling you here that they're getting a divorce. Or you could be seeing someone who is claiming to be getting a divorce. But again, I'm getting deceit this coming through. Okay. I am, look, alluring, seductive, enticing, mysterious, threatening, vindictive, and rebellious. Your person could be dealing with a vindictive ex. That could be a thing. Or you could be dealing with someone who is trying to keep multiple partners on the go at the same time. OK, again, just take it as it resonates. But also you see in Virgo, if you keep an abundant mindset, OK, if you try and remain positive, then you will end up attracting exactly what it is that, that you want. OK, and you are going to be receiving what you need as well when it comes down to, to love and romance. you got staying in at the bottom of the deck. So that's like someone being called, someone being disconnected, or someone just basically 
enjoying their own time, enjoying their own energy. Maybe that's what you're needing to do right now, Virgo. Um, because it does seem to be a lot of confusion and a lot of competition that's going on within your love energies, okay? So maybe taking a break from love just temporarily is going to be a wise thing for you to do, okay? What else for Virgo in love, please? What else for Virgo? Okay, top ones. You will find your place in the world even when you don't know how. Okay, and there is more to know than what you currently know. Yeah, Virgo, I'm honestly, I'm getting deception all over this energy. I'm getting the message that someone's telling you what you want to hear. Okay, so you definitely need to be cautious of that. Someone is withholding the truth from you. If they're telling you that they're getting a divorce, they're not getting a divorce at all. And then you're stepping into a brand new chapter. Yeah. You're stepping into a brand new chapter here, Virgo. So it's time to close one chapter and, and be receptive to love, maybe from someplace else, okay? Maybe not with this person. It's a little bit strange there, Virgo, but that is the message that I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me today, Virgo, for your love reading. I just really hope that that has been helpful for somebody. If that did resonate for you, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video? That'll help to keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push the message out to everyone else who is needing to hear it as well okay so again thank you virgo um oh yes private readings they are available on my website which is phoenixkiatarot.com right so i just need to clean up this table ready for capricorn's read hello capricorn welcome to your love reading for december right so what's going on for our capricorn collective please Capricorn Collective in love. Thank you. Nice big jump. Gambling. Okay. Problems with addiction or gambling. Uh, bad finances. Okay. So someone is struggling with their finances here, Capricorn. Could be you, could be a person. Basically, there's a lot of overspending. Uh, be mindful if if you are overspending, Capricorn. Just be mindful of that, okay? Uh, especially, again, with the festivities coming up. You do tend to enjoy making really large grand gestures of love and affection to those that you love okay spirit saying here capricorn look you don't need to break the bank this season to to demonstrate your love to anybody okay um try try and keep their finances under tight restraint okay intimacy sexual chemistry and reminiscing an earth sign you could be dealing with another earth sign a taurus virgo or a capricorn Narcissist, someone is to fill of themselves. Date nights, get ready to be wined and dined. They'll be back. That one's been coming out quite a lot. And commitment, things are getting serious. Okay. Um, maybe someone thought that you were a little bit narcissistic, but I'm not really feeling that very much. Okay, Capricorn. I'm feeling that... <sighs> You could have your suspicions, okay? I feel strongly you have got your suspicions that somebody could be a little bit too full of themselves, a little bit narcissistic. Um, again, definitely, if this if this individual does take you out on a date, I do get the strong impression here, Capricorn, that you're going to be keeping a really strong lookout for any warning signs such as how how is this person treating the servers at the restaurant for example okay um i think you're going to be looking out for any and all red flags you do have a commitment here that's coming in okay things are starting to get a little bit serious with someone um you could be dealing with someone from the past but i do feel mostly that you could be dealing with multiple people I, here's the thing, Capricorn. I feel that you're moving on with someone and things are getting serious, okay? And then someone else from the past, a narcissist that you used to deal with, has clocked you going out on dates and they've tried to set things up where you two will quote unquote accidentally run into each other while you're out on a date, 
Okay. I feel strongly that that's what's going on with this energy. Um, there's a very strong connection that you share with another individual here. It could be another Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they could have Earth in their Venus placement. Okay. It's not always about the sun sign. Um, things look to be progressing really, really good with that other person where there is a lot of sexual chemistry. Um, and the fact that you've pulled your energy away from that narcissist, they felt that. <clears throat> they, they have felt that strongly. And that's why they're trying to come back in again. Okay. Um, I am seeing a lot of this kind of energy that's going around this month, especially like June, December, the festivities, you know, where there, there's a lot of green eyed axes floating around and just sort of waiting to sabotage good connections so definitely be on the lookout for that okay capricorn right so how your relationship or connection currently stands right now is the three of coins um how your person feels about you right now is the nine of wands their challenges is the ace of wands your challenges is strength their actions towards you is the knights of coins and your advice is the eight of wands okay and then the energy at the bottom of the deck is the knight of swords i do feel that that knight of swords capricorn is someone watching you it's sort of like green with envy okay um that that knight of swords can potentially for for me reading this energy it feels it feels like someone's doing their head in with jealousy okay i do apologize for the state of my voice um I've literally only just recovered from a nasty case of the bugs and then exactly one week later we get bugs in the house again so I mean it's just a season for it right um so yeah whenever my voice creaks or breaks you, you'll know that that's what's going on okay um right knight of swords with the three of wands I am feeling a little bit of sabotage type energy here, Capricorn. I feel that someone's going through a lot of effort um, to, to basically try and find out what it is that you're doing. OK, uh, so, yeah, the majority of you have moved on to a new connection here away from an individual who just basically um, took it for granted that, that you'd never get over them. Do you know what I mean? It feels a lot like that to me. With the three of coins, with how your relationship or your connection currently stands, that indicates to me, Capricorn, that at the moment, or you very soon will be, invest in yourself in a very lovely connection, really, um, because your three of coins is teamwork, project building, collaboration. It's working together for the same goals, okay? So this is someone who has the same ideals as you and who is really and honestly a really good partner for you okay with the three of coins this is the person that you'll soon be moving towards or that you're currently investing in okay um it, it's someone who is every bit the hard worker that you are every bit as dedicated as you are and and really quite quite a fair balanced individual okay um how someone feels about you at this point in time is the nine of wands now i think it was virgo that literally just had this one as well i'm feeling that someone um is feeling really quite protective over you here capricorn you could be feeling really quite protective over your new or newest most recent connection okay um i i do feel that any instance of anybody trying anything on i do think that they're going to be incredibly sorry that they tried to sabotage this newest connection for you okay i'm feeling also that your newest connection is trying to get to learn more about you on a more of an intimate level as well okay your challenges excuse me their challenges are the ace of wands so I mean, the Ace of Wands is someone's challenge. That indicates to me that there's um, something to do with sexual intimacy that makes your person feel really quite awkward. Okay, Capricorn. Um, this person probably isn't very confident, like, being naked, for example, in front of other people, right? Uh, they feel really quite sort of embarrassed, 
All right. So th- there is definitely that message that's coming through. And then your challenges is the strength. So you're going to be challenged basically trying to convince this person, like, it doesn't matter what, what you think you look like. Here's what I'm telling you you look like. It's, it's like you're trying to build them up. But I don't feel that you're going to be able to do that verbally. Okay, Capricorn, I feel that the only way that you can do that is sexually. Okay, um, so yeah, I, I have to be careful about how much I say and what exactly I am saying because YouTube has become really ridiculously sensitive about certain things. Okay, um, I mean, let, let's be honest, having a healthy sex life, why is that so wrong to speak about? Okay, like... <sighs> YouTube is just far, far, far too sensitive. Um, root chakra work here, basically. Okay, Capricorn, your person struggles with their root chakra, with, with their sexuality, with how they see their, themselves, with the relationship that they have with their own physical being. Okay, um, that they, they, they have issues with that. So it does indicate to me that you are going to be able to strengthen the bond between you two. Um, through sharing more of this physical intimacy with each other, okay? Uh, the action that they'll take towards you, the Knight of Coins, so you might enjoy this one, Capricorn, because that's they are going to do something very practical for you to try and help you out, okay, Capricorn? So that's someone who's got the same kind of love language that you do, all right? Because, again, you're another one of these that doesn't really tend to do these PDAs. Um, it makes you feel a bit icky, if anything. So to have a partner who's more sort of practical in their love language, which is like doing you favors, helping you out, doing things, um, I, I do feel that that's going to vibe really quite well with you here, Capricorn. I actually really do love this person for you. It's a very, very good match. Um, your advice is the eight of wands. So your advice, Capricorn, is for you to initiate something with this person, okay? Um, for for you to be fast or fast moving or just move a little bit quicker with something when it comes down to this person, okay? Um, because the way that I'm reading this energy, Capricorn, is this person starting to think that maybe you're not sexually attracted to them, okay? They're definitely waiting for a sign from you, for a signal from you, you know, something that's going to tell them, okay, go, <laughs> right? Something from you that's going to give them permission, uh, like an open invitation type thing, okay, Capricorn? Uh, and Spirit's saying, okay, you're going to have to initiate this, Capricorn, and then let the rest play out, okay? Once you've initiated something with this person, Capricorn, your person's going to know then how to respond to that, okay? It's got a nice flow to it. I really do think that that is... I mean, what a difference from that narcissistic energy right there, yeah? Completely different type of person here, Capricorn. It's beautiful. What else for our Capricorn? Thank you. Sunshine. Yeah. Good vibes, happy times, positive attitude, things going well. And the answer is yes. Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying, Capricorn, this connection it looks like you found your one. Okay. And the narcissist in your life, they're not going to like it, but fuck them. Axe. Yeah. Break up, separation, stop in the pattern, silent treatment and abandonment. Oh no, the narcissistic person is going to basically accuse you of abandoning them. So what? That, that connection with them is over. And for a lot of you, it's been over for a long time. They need to get over it. They need to get over themselves. Okay. The thing is, Capricorn, they just assumed that, that you were going to be available to them 24-7. They just assumed that you were never going to get over them. Well, guess what? You're well and truly over them. Well and truly. Especially given this energy that we've seen here and the fact that, that you're moving towards your sunshine, your happiness, a brand new life. I'd be cautious of this person here, Capricorn, because they might try and sabotage this beautiful connection that you've got on the go. 
I would definitely keep them away. Okay, I would go ghost on that narcissist, like 100%. Go ghost on them. Make sure that that person cannot get a look in. Because if they can try and, if they think that you've left a gate open here somewhere for them to try and come back in and take advantage of this situation, try and break you two up, then they will. Okay. You have to stop the pattern with that person, make sure they never come back in. All right, and then you got mask. Okay, I do apologize for that Capricorn, it was the door. And then you got mask at the bottom of the deck. Not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So, again, yeah, be careful of the narcissistic person's tactics. Okay, protect, protect this beautiful relationship, this beautiful connection that you got on the go here. Okay, protect that. Nine of Wands. All right, it is genuinely worth protecting. What else for Capricorn in love, please? And you don't have to feel bad for cutting anyone out as well. When they've shown you their true colours with that mask, their mask is coming off, they've shown you their true colours. You don't don't dare feel guilty for cutting anyone off that, that shows you their true colours, that shows you their true intent. Okay, Capricorn. I know, I know a lot of my Capricorns are a lot more sensitive than they like to let on to the rest of the world, okay? But your energy, I can read your energy, all right? You, you would end up feeling guilty for cutting them off because for whatever reason, you would feel responsible for them. You're not responsible for them and you've got nothing to feel bad for, okay, Capricorn? Cut them off. True love will find you in the end. Yeah, Capricorn, true love has found you. And you have every right to lean into it and to really make the most of it and to enjoy every moment of this true love connection that has found you. Okay. Don't compare your life to others. Your journey is your own. Yeah. Yeah. So your story, your journey belongs to you, Capricorn. Okay, um, don't allow anyone else to basically try and dictate to you, oh, well, you should have done this by age, whatever. You should be doing that because you're such and such age now. You don't need crap like that in your life, okay? Tell them to stay in their own lane, end of, okay? You're not answerable to anybody. I don't, I don't care if that's someone who is directly related to you. Okay, they don't get a say in what goes on in your life. And you know that deep down. Something from your past will resurface. It's okay to revisit. Okay, so with this one, it is okay for you to revisit this situation in order for you to put your boundaries up against that person, right? That's why they're coming back in. So there's still some kind of... Uh, personal growth lesson that is being reinforced for you with this narcissistic person coming back in all right so there there's a valid reason as to why they're now kicking off shit all right so definitely stand your ground and protect this beautiful beautiful relationship that we see playing out in your tarot Okay, Capcom. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me for your reading today, Capcom. I genuinely hope that that has helped out at least one person. Okay. Um, if it has resonated for you, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video? That'll help to keep you connected to the channel, but it'll also help to push the message out to other people who are needing to hear the messages as well. Okay. Personal readings, they are available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. That's one of the cats trying to break into the bedroom. <laughs> I had to shut them out because they keep jumping on the table. Um, but yeah, personal readings, they're available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for joining me today, Capricorn, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Okay, bye.